So I found this plugin for OBS, which is really cool. It allows you to create custom effects, writing shader language, same language used, used for effects in games, uh, to create effects in OBS and apply it to your sources. Like for instance, I have this cameras folder where I have these filters here. For now, they're all turned off. And to add a filter with this plugin, it's called OBS shader file, I think, no, shader filter. I'm gonna leave a link in the description telling you how to download and install it. And to use it, you, you add the user defined shader, then you, you, you go here, load shader text from file, browse. It comes with a lot of examples. For instance, this ASCII shader, which is really cool. It converts you into ASCII characters. Uh, but I wanna show you what I did with this because I was working with something that require, I wanted to have some visuals of old game stuff, you know, classic games, like 16-bit stuff. And I started writing my 16-bit filter and I needed some outlines and also I needed to eliminate some noise. So I created also a smart blur. And I think this could be useful for others. So here goes how it works. And yeah, that's it. So first the smart blur, it's a blur filter, but instead of blurring the whole image, it blurs where there's low contrast. For instance, you take a look in my shirt. If I turn it off, you have some details that are not visible anymore. And also the door there. It's a low contrast part of the image, so it gets blurred. Of course, I left some settings here. So you have the size of the blur if you want more blur, where, where it's blurring, of course, or less, maybe just eight, just a bit of blur. Uh, it's, it can also be useful to beautify your face if you want to hide some details in your face. It can be useful for that because it's a low contrast area, so it blurs that out. Uh, so this is the smart blur. I created also a outlines one. Now, the outlines one just creates outlines where the image has high contrast, like between my arm and the, the floor back there. Uh, so you can control the thickness of the outlines make them really thick or really thin. So let's say three, you can control the sensitivity. So the lower this is, less outlines you see, or the higher it is, an insane amount of, of outlines you're gonna be seeing. Um, I like it between two and three. It depends on your lighting as well. So for instance, what I'm doing here has a lot of noise in the background. So it picks up the noise as contrast and creates a lot of outlines. Uh, there's also the 16-bit one, which is my it's my child, my baby. <laughs> I worked a lot on this uh, because I wanted to really feel like those classic games like Streets of Rage. Uh, so you can pixelate the screen. You have options for how many pixels you want for the horizontal and vertical. So for instance, Let's say um, on 50 on horizontal and just 50 for vertical. Yeah, that's really what's for 90. Yeah, I like the pixels more, more square. And so this is uh, an effect that I really like. The pixels one. And you can turn this off and use the only the other effects in separate. So for instance, I turned everything off. So it's like this this filter is doing nothing. So you can use pixelate only. You have the cell shading, which divides the, the colors you're seeing in, in layers of less, less colors. So for instance, uh, let's try three. So now I only have three, not three colors because I, I wanted to keep the colors as games, uh, classic games have very good saturation, very good colors. So I just separate them in less values. So now you have black uh, back there. You have the gray in my shirt and also the white. So these are the three levels. I like, I like it with four to six levels. So like four, and six, uh, let's keep it at four, four looks cool. You can control the gamma of the banding. This means, um, uh, let me just show you, if you put it, if you put high values, you're gonna have more of the dark bands. Now, if you want less of the dark bands, you just input 
values, uh, lower values. So one is like a default, it doesn't change anything. 0.5, lo values lower than one, they make things brighter. So the, the lighter bands are uh, occupy, occupy more space than the darker bands. I like it with the more of the lighter bands. So that's why I had it like, I think 0.85 or something like that. Then you can change the gamma in separate. The, this is only for the, the light gammas, the, the light bands. And from the mid-tones to the shadows, you have a separate uh, separate value here. So bands, shadows, gamma, which I'm, I also have it on a low value because I don't like too many shadows. But you can like increase this. You're going to have much more shadows on the mid-tones. Uh, from the mid-tones to the shadows. And also, same thing, lower values eliminate more shadows, so you have more lights in your shadows, depending on the effect you want. It's very useful. So master brightness is the brightness after the banding effect, so it doesn't change the position of the banding, it just changes the final brightness of your image. So you can make it darker, you can make it brighter. Um, also, and saturation. I put I left saturation here because I feel like games had very vivid colors, and real life doesn't. This is the colors with no changes. Uh, you can see compared to to my own colors, I'm not changing them. So I like this with some saturation. And then you have scan lines for vertical and I mean horizontal ones and vertical if you want that. Uh, but I think scan lines on horizontal make, sense, make more sense because it looks like old CRT TVs. And then you can set the alpha of the scan lines. I like it a bit transparent, not, be, not to be so noticeable. And the size of them. The size of them is relative to each pixel. So if I put one, now it's 100% scan line because it's the whole pixel. 0.9 is 90% of the pixels, so you have more scan line and just a, a thin line of pixels. 0.1 is just 1% of each pixel, 10% uh, of each pixel is uh, has the scan line color. And I like it kind of almost half of the pixel. I think it looks cool, maybe less. All right, so if you put it all together, there you have it. Pixelation, and let me increase this. I like it higher to 50 by maybe a hundred. Yeah, all right. So if you combine them all, you get a kind of uh, a classic game visual, but the other two also help a lot. So if you want less noise in your pixels, you can use Smart Blur to reduce the noise so there's Less crazy pixels blinking everywhere. So this is without, this is with Smart Blur. And Smart Blur also helps with the outlines because now the outlines are not getting so much noise. So they appear on places that make more sense. For instance, this is without Smart Blur, with Smart Blur. So it helps a lot with the outlines too. And then when you put it all together, you have this visual, which I think is really cool. And I'll be using it for sure for any future videos that I make that are not like, I don't really have to show my face or stuff like that. I really like this style. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'm gonna leave a link in the description to where to download these and with instructions for to install the plugin. And I hope you have fun with it. Bye.